What's going on YouTube? This is Jim G7. We're back with another video. Anyways, yesterday I had picked up a load and I dropped it off a load yesterday. Um, over there in Shirts, Texas. We have a new driver over there and I guess they're trying to train him. I said I really highly suggest that they shouldn't uh, give new forklift operators, drivers, the forklift to not offload owner operators. I suggest to use a forklift or something else, like learn how to move bundles and, and wood and all that. Anyhow, that driver damaged my flatbed. Look, this just happened yesterday in the afternoon. You scratch it all up, you mess it all up, which is not cool. Obviously, the, I told the guy I did it, that I bought that, he took a picture of it, and um, they're just gonna pay for it. So, over here, not so bad, it's just a scuff here. This stuff here, little scuff here and there, I don't mind, you know, that's just the way it is for the flatbed. But if you're gonna damage my property, my flatbed or my truck, you're gonna pay for it. So, everybody knows in my other previous video, this has happened, okay? This has happened. This right here cost me six grand to fix that, okay? But did I fix it? No, I just got the money for it. And the reason why I didn't fix it yet, because um, it's just gonna happen again and again and again and again. And I, and I know things happen, okay? I know things happen, it happened for a reason. You know, because the guy was new, he was still trying to learning, but you still don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So let me go and get low and get out of here. Get you guys in a bit. So the incident with my trailer, the insurance, I had to claim on my own insurance. And the reason why is because the guy, um, the people that over there in Corp, um, they, they try to do to where that they don't want to see as a payment as if that was their fault. So in order to get the same estimate of what the estimate I got for the trailer damage <clears throat> they want to send me a um a w9 form okay which is a 1099 that is saying that you have worked for us we pay you and then you gotta claim your tax on that why would i want to do that i mean it's damage you guys done it you guys did the damage it's your guys fault you hired that person that operate that forklift track uh, or forklift uh offload my truck on those lumbers and you drop three bundles on top of my flatbed and you poke the forks on my flatbed and make dents and scratches on them and you get a hole in it yeah i'm not gonna do a w9 for it then they also want me to do a um sign a paper saying that uh the release of all claims that way no future claims or something else damage to the trailer they won't be more uh, they don't want to be more liable for it anymore and they want, they want me to sign that date it and also do w9 then they'll send me the money five grand five thousand dollars and change for damage on the trailer I said hell no i'm not doing none of that so i had to talk to my buddy ron about that and he's also a lawyer as well and um i talked to george navarro as, as well about that situation and it's just wrong man you don't do that you know so i was like i tried to be respectful i try to be professional about it and just pay me the money for, for the damage you guys did to my trailer that's all i ask and these guys are hard like they do not want to pay and if they don't want to pay they're trying to do it the cheapest way as possible and they try to, to go around the table or underneath the table they don't want to just pay you for the damage of the employee what he did when he worked for the company so anyhow, I said, no, screw all that. I'm not gonna do none of that. So I'll, I wanted to go ahead and claim on my insurance and my insurance took care of it. So the insurance has gave, uh, has contacted the corporate office. The same person that I was trying, uh, trying to do the W-9 and try to do the 
uh, sign a paper of release of all claims on my trailer, no. So um, my insurance, uh, you know, when the insurance contact you, they have to co cooperate because if they don't, the insurance will provide their own lawyer and they will get on their head, on their butt about it. So um, they're gonna have to comply. Um, so the insurance had talked to the corporate office. The insurance paid me because I had given the same estimate of what I sent them the estimate for the damages. Uh, so they paid me the money, and then, but I had to pay a thousand deductible to get that. And at the at the end, once they pay a thousand deductible, plus I get the money for the damage for the truck, so I can get it fixed, or whatever, or whatever, or whatnot the case may be. He has to pay the deductible as well. And once I pay, but I have to cough up the thousand deductible first, and then he has to pay the damages for the truck and the deductible on top. So it's a win-win situation for me. That's how it turned out to be. Um, I got the money already. Um, I'm still waiting for the deductible pay because I already paid. I already coughed up a thousand dollars to pay for the deductible. And now he has to pay a thousand dollars deductible, so I get the money back for the money that I paid for the deductible. Um, other than that, it's been you know that's been squared away. We're good on that, and just you know keep on working, keep on hustling. So that's the update for the damage on my trailer. So forklift drivers, man. I mean, I understand there are really good forklift drivers out there, but some of them, man. Mm. But this guy here was new. He doesn't know what he was doing. He does not know anything about the forklift. I'm surprised they had hired him to operate a forklift to offload these trucks, especially owner-operator trucks, because you know we're owner owner equipment. Any damages to the truck or trailer, you are whole reliable responsible for it because you offload me and you did damage with the forklift. So give and take that has happened. So, you know, um, I was hauling a load from Camden and was going to San Antonio, went there. I, it was about maybe five trucks in front of me at the time. When I was up, that guy was there. Um, when he offloaded, he was doing okay. But when he started getting a little bit more to the center of the trailer, oh man, it got bad. He poked it and he got the load off, came back and got another bundle, another stack of three bundles high. As he picked it up, um, he had leaned the forks four a little bit more and it has to reverse and those uh, two top bundles on top of the very bottom one because there was three of them there was three one bundle here second bundle third bundle the, the first two and the, the, the top two slide off when he had had his for, uh, forks tilted the two top one the middle one the top one slide off and slammed on my freaking trailer on my flatbed trailer so my trailer was like shaking like this so you know it could be frame damage airbag damage whatever the case may be you know so the insurance ain't paid me for all the damages for that so we're good so i'm just waiting for the deductible and wish we're off of that that's all right now let's give you guys a little update on what's going on on the flatbed trailer um it's just been chaotic you know i've been trying to email them call them for almost what a, about a month month and a half and I couldn't take it anymore. It was just frustrating. It was just so hey, just to get my money for the damage for the did to my trailer. And you know, this company here, man, is UFP is a joke, man, when it comes to claims. They do not want to pay. They're like they're stingy, they're shady, they try to pay you another way and make you do a W9, a release of all claims form, and then you have the uh, the the manager there at the place where we offloaded man it was like you know he he wants to me to drop my trailer there and and, and use one of his trailer to get that trailer fixed and things like that and then he has a mechanic that work on trailers and he'll fix those uh, he will fix that and then uh, and while i'm using the, his temporary uh, uh uh trailer for me to work because if i don't if i don't have, if I don't have a flight by trailer i can go to work so it was like you know, you want me to drive, you want me to drop my trailer and drive a box up from San Antonio all the way to Houston for three hours, and then drive three hours back and pick up my trailer. You know, uh, it wastes miles, wastes diesel. He's not paying for the diesel, he's not paying for the miles. You know, so it's like, that's just wrong. You know, you don't do that. You know, he was just trying to benefit his own way. You know, like these guys, man, when this people at San Antonio, those, those people that uh, where I bring over there, man, those guys are like shady. They're stingy, you know, especially the corporate office is like, uh, you know, because they got, you know, they have the footage because the manager and the supervisor, they saw what happened. They saw what happened. The guy did to my trailer. He poked it, damaged it, dropped 
the load on top of my flatbed, and wiggle my airbags, and could be frame damage and whatever or not, in case it be. My wood board is damaged. And the thing about my the, the the you know the flatbed, you know, on each side of the end has wood, but the rest in the middle, is, there's two black ones are the frame of the flatbed, but the ones on the side of it and the and the inside and the outside of that frame is all aluminum, and they're like one whole long 48 feet long, one piece. They're not individually, they're not, you just take off one panel and replace one panel, no. When you replace one board, you gotta replace one whole long board and they're 48 feet long. So, that has to be replaced, you know? So, give and take, it's not cheap, you know? So like, these, you know, if you hire a forklift driver, you gotta know the consequences and the cost and the reliability, the, the liability of hiring a new owner operator that does not know what the hell he's doing. You should have let that forklift driver uh, do lumber, move stuff around the property or the, uh, whatever the case may be, than just offloading, you know, owner operator trucks, you know, or company trucks because you're gonna cause damage. And it's just like chaotic. They don't know the consequences. They don't know the liability you can cause. Have so much headache and chaos. And it happened. It happened to me. You know, so um, now they learn their lessons. It's like, yeah, you know that that same guy that had damaged my trailer and also dropped the freaking load on my trailer. That same day, as he was backing out the parking lot from work and getting ready to go home, he had hit a Mustang that was parked next to him, and then he jet off. From that day, he never came back. So I don't know. I heard rumors that he got quit that that he quit it. And I heard rumors that he got fired. So obviously, you know, five thousand dollars worth of damage on my trailer. Yeah, he, and then uh, you know, trying to claim on their insurance because it's their fault. You know, because he worked for you, he worked for the company, you hired him to work uh, to operate that forklift, and he caused these damages. You're gonna pay. You know, he when he works, he represents your company, not me. You know, so it's like. Cause damage, you gotta pay, you know. So I was like, that's why when you off, when you own rappers out there doing flatbeds, when they're loading you or offloading you, you gotta watch them every single step. And they tap so hard, you shake your truck so much, you know, this that's not good. You know, they're damaging your equipment. There's, you know, I understand scratches and scuffers here and there, but man, you don't you don't just do that. You know, it caused damage, 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 and it caused chaos. You know. So that's how that's all I have right now. Thank you for watching. Uh, please hit the notification button, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and there'll be more footage coming on your way. Every Friday is another new footage. And I also want to throw a reminder: when I get 1,500 subscribers and do a giveaway, when I get 2,000 subscribers, I will also do another giveaway. Um, that's all I have right now. Thank you for watching. Peace. I'm out.